we're back in Mass Effect 3 with this court, Lyra, Jovic, and me. Me. Ah, uh, now I'm in photo mode, I need to exit that, otherwise something kind of looks stuck. We're rescuing a Krogan female that just loaded in. No more. Ooh. They're about to die, all of them. No more than. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Looks like Javik shot him back. Uh, yeah, she first did singularity nice. Did I just do slam? That wasn't what I wanted. Okay. Nothing yet. A lot of grenades. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot which rifle I took with me. Anti synthetic. No, it's the. Clear! Rufin. Rufin beam rifle. What else do I have? Particle rifle, Rufin, and the. The C? Never tried that one before. How is that thing? I don't even know if I'm hitting them. How the is this thing? Does it shoot explosions? Does it shoot bolts? Can I no scope it? Oh yeah, explosion bolts. Damn, that's a weird thing. That sniper rough was weird. Shotgun blade attachment. He's just stuck there. Good. Good. And of course for grenades. Oh, barely really alive. Someone is stuck in there. Broken will be spotted if we don't end this soon. Commander, where are you? Subarus is tracking our position. We're on our way. Paddock. Paddock. That's the person. That's helping us this time instead of Morden. And Liara will love to see that. Right. So that kind of thinking got us into this mess. Authorized for covert uplift. They are ideal candidates for expanding Solarian influence with full deniability. The risk is minimal. Yep. Minimal risk from those brutes. What the hell? <laughs> that spares us two bullets. Something new to put in our memoirs. Works for me. I think you want to say they are wrong. No? Oh. oh no. Okay. Good. Shotgun stuff. Love it. Since we didn't play here, does he officially? Then we let's play. Um. Bastards. The checkpoint! He's under fire! Let's get in yeah. there! Enemy troops outside the park. No, throw grenades, don't worry. Did I hit anything? Yep, yeah, I see them. That game should be pretty goddamn powerful. Ah, you bastard. Take my sweet as done. Looking for loot. Oh, Varen. And credits. Bad. You two okay? Are you okay? The containment shield is holding. I can attempt repairs if necessary, though that may be small comfort to our patient. I'm fine, Commander. It's likely Cerberus was tipped off. 
Maybe a mole in STG could be indoctrinated. It would derail your alliance with the Turians. That's not gonna happen. Meet us at the next checkpoint. I suspect Cerberus will try to hit us. We're gonna die. That's not the weapon I want. Let's just do that. Go for the sniper. Damn, indeed. We'll switch. Cerberus just don't quit, do they? The end of a cycle always marks the beginning of chaos. Here I did you. Commander, stay back. Hostiles just ah. down the hall. Listen. Is there an easier way around? You could say that. Salarians know their weapons. Go, Commander! I'll cover you! No. No, don't let him put it down. You idiot. He's gonna die, isn't he? Okay, that's gonna suck. Being blockaded! I'll cover you, Commander! Take your advance! No. Taking them head on oh, may not be the best him. idea. <laughs> yep. Oh, <laughs> sneezes. That's the last dude. Yeah, at least he's in cover. He fell down, didn't he? Well, good. They're out dead. The next checkpoint won't be far. Maybe we can beat Cerberus to it. Scanning. Quarantine containment shield has sustained damage. Access confirmed. Well, I agree with Wix. Somebody told Cerberus about this. They arrived much too quickly. Every war has its traitors. Oh, I'm worried on our side. Oh, they're dead. Careful. Got down here. Is that an engineer? It's a Turian. It's a matter. To attack. The enemy is persistent. More up top. Find cover. Oh, that hits. Damn it. <laughs> oh, he's been on the high ground. Me too. Me too. I don't think that singularity hit. I'm headed up top! Orion squad, you dropped the female at checkpoint. Bill, take her. 
Oh, I'm still fighting down there. And so, uh, okay. Looking for loot. Can I? Oh yeah! Okay, that was badass. I love that. Badass as hell. Oh yeah, there it is. Sentry interface. Money. Oh, I kind of want to do it again, but I feel like it's just wasting time. Oh, Max. I'm gonna give you a lot of armor. What? What? Okay. Bye, boss. Good. I pass it. Cerberus is hitting the pod. We need assistance now. Take them out. Check them out. Get them away from the big email. Quickly, we still have enemy troops out. I feel like it's not doing enough damage. Definitely strong. Still. <laughs> that snap arrival won't be blade again. Scorpion. Continue. Do I get it? No. Okay. Another time. Good. Good. Oh, I guess there's another attack coming down when this symbol shines. Damn it. Oh boy. With pleasure. With pleasure. Don't do anything. Some dude got dark channel though. Damn it, that's kind of split shit. Slam. Get the shield away. Minimal. Commander, Varen. please don't leave till you've cleared us through. Very not very much talks. So yeah, sure, would work. How you holding up? The containment shield is holding, but it wasn't designed for this. This isn't your problem, Commander. You don't know me. But I'd like to. Hang in there. How many more checkpoints? Next one is the landing area. Will Earth not Rex be there? Rex can't keep his hands off a fertile female. He'll be there. I'll see you up top. Severus. We found the Krogan. Ah, oh, makes no sense to do here. Damn it. Ah. Damn it. Lift grenade in there. Perfect. Those are quite strong. Good. No. Damn. 
Oh. Oh. Wasn't worth the risk. Where's the dot? <laughs> That's help him out. Ah, oh, come on, throw it. That was the last one. Let's get the hell out of here. This We're way, almost back up yes. top. We're gonna fight a traitor. Commander server has found us. Taking heavy fire. This is Phoenix Six. No, I'm boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, no. I'm in a bad position. Sometimes he just doesn't want to. And they are tearing it down quickly. Oh my. We're under attack, Commander. The Krogan can't take much more of this. Bastards. Is that the do to trash talk just? I wanna see if I've missed anything. Loot fights. I know there's another fight coming. There's ammo everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn it. Bastards. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh my god. That's all. Awesome. It was perfect. Perfect. You need to authorize her release, Commander. The pod then transfers to the loading area. Let's get you out of there. It's a stupid design if he can't authorize that himself. It's in there, you know. A little bit too quiet. No. Shepard, yeah. heads up! You've got incoming! Make your drop. Okay, Titan Fall. Yeah. Snap or I must be good against this bad boy. I can't land until you deal with that thing. It's too <sighs> dangerous. You coward. Krogan has been acquired. The door's been damaged. I can't get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay clear. I've got this. Protect the Krogan commander. She's vulnerable up there. I don't have a predator with me. Why is it in my hands? Oh boy. The Krogan can't take much more of this. Sorry. Just what? Damn. It's me. Shoot. Me. That gun failed me. No. Okay. Nice. <laughs> nice. 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 That will be a difficult fight. I can already see it. Just. Um. Watch me.
Oh. Not even part of this fight. Rex still has his temper. Rex is trash talking me. I want to do it. Don't die. Damn it, kill that thing. We did it. More enemies remain. Stay vigilant. Get him out of cover. I think you did it. Looks clear from here. I'm coming in now. Oh, you coward. Now oh, you come in right. So the party is over. Just cruising a troop. Had me worried there for a minute. Let's make this quick. Oh, that scene doesn't Let's change. Get you out of there. There they are. That's them. I can handle myself, Rex. Women. My Cerberus here. What do you want? No answer. Difficult. Never got explained. It's part of the story that pisses me off. Servers everywhere, and here and there it makes serious sense. Like, why the hell did you want to take over Omega? So much resource. Commander, I'm hearing chatter you're brokering a treaty between the Krogan and the Turians. If I get Krogan boots on Palavin, the Turians promise me their support. And how does Cerberus get involved? I don't know. The elusive man is up to something. Then keep them at bay. I can't overstate what a victory this treaty would be for the Alliance. We'll need all the help we can get. How's the Prothean device coming? Alliance R&D has officially begun construction. The team has dubbed it Project Crucible. We're throwing everybody who knows how to hold a hammer at it. This is going to be the most ambitious undertaking in human history. Will we get it done? I'm not saying it won't be a challenge, but our researchers tell me the designs are elegant, massive in scope, but strangely simple as well. We can do this, Shepard. You can do this. Never doubt that. No, sir. Good. Hack it out. The hell is this cutscene and why does it look low res? Oh, in there, cutscene so sharp as hell, and then there's cutscene like that. 30 FPS, too. <laughs> Are all cutscenes 30 FPS? I never checked. In the picture, it looks cool, but it's pretty much just a picture with a few moving parts. Oh, no, look at that, 60 FPS. No, there are different cutscenes. Not every cutscene is 2K, I'm sure of it now. You have the female, Rex. A cure for the rest of your people can come later. That wasn't the deal. But Palavin needs your reinforcements now. We can't delay. Unless every Krogan gets the cure. 
there's no alliance. Wix, how long will it take to finish a cure? There's more work to be done. I need time to synthesize a base antigen from the female's tissue. I'll also require a sample of healthy male Krogan tissue. You're looking at it. Very well. You'll need to remain confined to the Normandy for the procedure. Uh, let's hope the food's gotten better. A cure that works for every Krogan sounds like a tall order. Can you do it? Reverse a 2,000-year-old sterility plague? I've tackled worse. How will it work? Those are the details I need time to discover. But we won't solve anything standing here arguing politics. Then get started, Wix, and make it fast. Certainly. If you need me, I'll be in your med bay running tests on Eve. Eve? A name from your own mythology. It has the appropriate connotations, and seemed more respectful than female Krogan. She never told us her real name. You should come speak with her, though. Very insightful. Now, is there anything else? There's a small matter concerning a ship we've lost contact with. What happened? I'd rather discuss it... in private. Turian problems can't even come close to what I've got. What is it? Some of my men went missing. The rest of it we can discuss... somewhere else. I'll find you both in the war room. Just be ready to talk. Why didn't you say in private? Come on, man. Damn, what was that? Drum. So, back to all of a sudden. Okay, I know your mission. And you know what? No, I don't know if I want to ignore it. That sounds fun to me. Ignore it. All right, stop. I want to show down there on Sir Cash. Just like the old days, Shepard. Right down to me pulling your ass out of the fire. I was the one with bullets flying at me. And I gave you the moral support to dodge them. Mm. Uh-huh. You said one of your squads is missing. They were scouting out the Rachni Relay. We've heard rumors of trouble in the area. Rachni? Thought that might get your attention. I have a favor to ask. It's big. Don't tell me they're back. All I know for sure is our scouts went silent as soon as they arrived. I've got Aralak Company, my best unit, on standby. You give the word, and they'll meet you there. I'll see what I can do. Get on it, Shepard. Oh, screw you. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. Hey, Shepard. I like what you've done with the Normandy. Got tired of always hanging around the cargo bay before. I still don't have a window like Liara does, but it's progress. Wish I could knock some heads around with you, but duty calls. If the Solarian says my DNA is important, who am I to argue? Mm hmm. Be a good boy and stay here. Oh, why does he not tell me that Grant is on that mission? The have a base on their homeworld secured better. Ah, they were solid. Cerberus has Reaper tech. Compared to those upgrades, the Solarians might as well have been throwing rocks. Is that so? Cerberus is the most advanced group. Cerberus activity on Tachanka. I've marked it on the galaxy map. I won't do it. Commander, nice to see you again. How are you settling in, trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the war summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Specialist Trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our war room data is a direct result of her work. Thank you, Edie. Oh, thank I'm you. still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we'd hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. Life on an active ship always feels crowded at first. You'll get used to it. Oh, it's not a bad thing. I've got no problems getting cozy. <laughs> This is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now? Edie, Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long-range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. The algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, 
I can quite happily live out of a shoebox. Okay. Turrens. Anything to say? No? Yes, do. Just be. Okay, I don't want to reveal my plans too much. Or that I have in future coming up for the squad. Krogan and the Turians really should get behind the Alliance. They've got so much in common, like shooting things and not wanting to die. And... Now that's about it. Now you choke up. So, bringing the Krogan to a war summit went well. You want me to invite the Batarians too? Or the Vorcha? <gasps> I love Vorcha. Oof, the Krogan are cannon photo. I kind of like that. I don't love the Krogan either, but we need shock troops that can stand against Reaper forces. Yeah, they stood against the Rachni too. Look how that worked out. Not too well for the Rachni. Okay, point taken. How's the new Solarian working out? What's his name? Not Morden? Oh. Fine. His name's Paddock Wicks. I'm just gonna go with Not Morden. Oof. He's rubbing it in. It is good you came by. I have questions about the Genophage. You and everyone else. What do you need, Edie? A Krogan female of breeding age can produce clutches of up to 1,000 fertilized eggs over the course of a year. There are over 1 billion females on Tichunka. If even 1% become fully fertile, they can birth 10 billion infants. On Earth, bugs have a lot of young, too. Most of them die. The attrition rate would naturally be high, but the state has an interest in keeping the children alive for warfare purposes. Any other cheerful thoughts? Logistics. Even were they to side with us, transporting the Krogan to the battlefields of Palavin could prove difficult. They have been demilitarized. That is, they have no warships. What do you suggest? They will need Turian or civilian starships to carry them to battle. With your permission, I will make the necessary calls to have these ships in place for when you deliver the Krogan. Do it. Anything else? Food. They will be unable to eat anything on Palavin. They must bring their own or rely on the nutrients in their humps. This keeps getting better and better. The Krogan will also require sedatives, since Krogan fight with others of their kind in enclosed spaces such as starships. Make it happen. Are there any last things you're worried about? Nothing that demands your attention, Shepard. Just a moment. I am conversing with Engineer Adams. So I'm looking at the tests for the IFF upgrade. It looks like you've got a few million duplicate encryption keys. That is correct. I keep them in the system in case I need to restart a particular key's evolution. The keys evolve? Reaper interrogation signals do not simply look for a friendly transponder code. They look for a friendly intelligence. The extra keys help me seamlessly swap in simulated intelligence identifiers from divergent synthetic origins. I see. So we need all the copies to seem like a living Reaper. Yes, I tried saying... Humans are dust in the stellar wind. But apparently that is no longer sufficient. What? Hello, Shepard. <laughs> what the hell was Hello, that? Shepherd. Okay, uh, what was I? Yeah, this game seemingly builds up to the uh, Mass Effect 3 war with Krogans, I believe. Well, we all know. White man. White man are gonna be the enemy in Mass Effect 4. Unread messages at your private terminal, Commander. I oh, know. Andromeda is not Mass Effect 4. Oh, anything else here? Blah, blah, blah. Spread the power. I don't even know what I've read here. Oh, let's ignore all of that. Crew tag. Talk to Liara. Let's talk to Morden. Ah, not Morden. Part of Rick. That dude. So, Liara, still relying on the Protheans for all the answers? It will work, Rex. We just need to finish building the Crucible. Although I'd be interested to learn how you found out about it. Wasn't that hard. Lucky you keep its location more secret than the fact it exists. And I'm sure you'll do a good job of both, being so famous for your discretion. <laughs> Anything. Damn it. Seriously? Why not? And you? Oh, okay. Cool. Hello again. Hello again. Seriously? Nothing? That 
a surprise. Yeah, Mr. Wick. I admire your bravery. You're now the savior of your entire race. The transmutative agent that propels a species to a new stage of evolution. Many will fear that. Ah, Commander, we were just... Are you okay? I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. Can't be too careful. Or put any faith in Solarian doctors. This one is different. Is he? What's that? A blood test. Commander, please explain to him my only goal is to ensure her health is stable. He was your inside source, Rex. You can trust him. Solarians have minds like a maze. You never know when they're leading you into a trap. Then we're in the same trap. By helping you, my career in STG is almost certainly over. Why do it? Every species has their role to play. Centuries from now, the Krogan could be the pinnacle of galactic evolution. <laughs> Even I don't believe that. But I want my people to. And let him work, Rex. Just keep her safe. Our females have endured enough. Of course. And remember, I still need your tissue sample. I'll be back. I need to speak with you when you have a moment, Commander. Oh. Yeah, so you were the one who told Rex about me. I had no choice. But <laughs> you went against your own government. They were wrong to hide you. I couldn't watch your entire species go extinct while the solution was being held prisoner in my laboratory. Your people fear my kind. That will never change. It has to. Fear has never contributed anything to the galaxy except more fear. The cycle must be broken. Besides, you deserve better than being treated as an experiment. Oh, oh all right, sure. I'm sure she does. If it's not interesting, I want to see the difference between Morden and God of Wicks. Commander, I'm troubled by Eve's blood test. The stress placed on her system by Malin's experiments was severe. I can stabilize her for now, but without Malin's research to guide me, her health will deteriorate. Wait, what? I hate to ask, but will this affect the cure? I don't believe so, though I'm afraid her long-term prognosis isn't good. Ah. Do what you can for her. Certainly. Which means she's gonna die? <laughs> oh, Morden Solus. Because I didn't do the side quest for Morden. And Morden is not alive. I knew an STG scientist named Morden Solis. Have you heard of him? Indeed. I once punched him in the face. You nice. what? He was still an STG at the time. I postulated there was more to evolution than just random mutation. Morden disagreed. We argued, we drank, then argued some more. Soon enough, a good fracas seemed the best way to settle things. Who won? He got a black eye. I broke a few fingers. We called it even and went back to drinking. Oh, Morden is dead. I'm sorry to say, Morden died. I know. STG is aware of your mission through the Omega-4 relay. For Morden's sake, I hope he finally found the grace he deserved. I don't know how he, how he died in my let's play. Huh, are you friends? Ah, he was the guy who went through the vent. So the two of you were friends? Some weeks, yes. Some weeks we didn't speak to each other. There were tremendous stresses for those involved in Genophage research. My side of it was all theoretical. His side... Well, he went to Tachanka. He saw its effects up close. He was never the same after that. I now understand. I'm curious. Why do this for a problem that doesn't even affect you? But it does. The willful extinction of another species benefits no one. We all lose eventually. The Krogan may lack beauty, perhaps even brains. But so did your ancestors. And mine. Every species has a fatal flaw, a flaw that is theirs alone to overcome. We cannot deny them the opportunity to evolve. So you'll put your own life on the line for the Krogan? For the larger principle, yes. I've spent my career planning which species deserve uplift and which do not. But no one ever asked if we had earned the right to make those plans. We are not the originator. Who do you think decides what the plan is? The question of the hour. The very reason religions are invented. Unfortunately, at this hour, the answer seems to be the Reapers. But even they evolved for some purpose, and by some design. Have you had any luck finding answers? 
There have been hints, like finding an artist's signature in a painting. The way the pattern in a Tanvorian Mulwich's feathers resemble the galactic spire. That's almost showing off. But none of it constitutes proof. Just intuition. Most scientists I meet don't feel that way. Then they're blind. So much grandeur in creation. It can't be an accident. How is this cure gonna work? I'm hoping it will inspire a resurgence in Krogan sex. I've always wondered how they made it. What? Why are you thinking about that? Not what I meant. No, but you were probably thinking it. And now's our chance. In the interest of science, how do Krogan mate? Very clumsily. And there we have it. Could be worth writing a paper someday. Now, as to your question. We can extract the DNA that renders immunity from her tissue to produce a viable mutagen. In turn, this mutagen will alter the gland function across the whole Krogan species. Large and presumably irritable infants will soon follow. I never <laughs> tell you you're a bit odd. It's the odd ones, the mutations, who move life forward. They expand the possibilities. On that, Morden, Solace, and I agreed. Morden could be pretty unusual, too. A side effect of our work. It often decides the fate of millions, even billions of lives. No mind is immune to the pressure. We all fracture in different ways. Morden's conscience haunted him. Malin crossed the line into barbaric experiments. And myself, I went searching for whatever gods created the rules for this unfortunate universe. How have you been getting along with Eve? She tried to kill me at first. Krogan don't react well to Solarians doing medical tests on them. Once that was cleared up, we've formed something of a cross-species relational bond. You mean you're friends now? It's more an agreement not to kill each other. Species take time to evolve. So do friendships. Though I still haven't learned her real name yet. Have you? I haven't asked yet. She claims it's a secret. I suppose Eve will have to do for now. Though one wonders how other Krogan would get her attention. Excuse me, Krogan of female persuasion. Do you have a moment? <laughs> uh, I like him. Keep him. Thanks. Enough. I appreciate your help in this. And I appreciate the chance to witness this moment in history, Commander. We're charting a new course in evolution. Evolution? I put him in my thumbnail. What a weird look he has while I'm thinking about room sex. Thank you for saving my life, Commander. <coughs> I didn't think the Krogan had any allies left in the galaxy. We owe a lot to you, even if most people have forgotten that. They can be forgiven. Our actions have hardly inspired friendship. Part of being friends is knowing each other's name. I feel bad that I don't know yours. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman of the female clan. <coughs> I belong to my sisters now. But perhaps one day, when this is over, you can know it. How has Paddock Wicks been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Solarian. How so? Most are arrogant, always reminding us they uplifted our race. He's a deep thinker. We've had talks about philosophy, religion, evolution. His hopes for a Krogan future have given me hope. Do you trust him? The other Solarians would rather have let me die. Wick stood up to them. He demanded medical treatment for my sisters and me. I doubt he has any friends left on Sir Cash. Yeah, he died because he snitched. How'd you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the genophage for Clan Werelock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tachanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. It's time females took back our place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. Yeah, females definitely can lead better. No, it's all a personality thing. No matter which gender, was it worth it? Would you go to Malon again? Absolutely. It only takes one candle to light a fire, and then the darkness is no more. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry none of the other females survived. I know. The youngest one, Kern, was the last to go. But she knew she would enter the void free of this curse, and then smile when she looked down upon the children of Tachonka. Her spirit will be the midwife to my firstborn. Oh, 
question of uh, Rex, it's the last question. What do you think of Rex? When he's not trying to sire half of Tachanka, he's the best thing that's happened to the Krogan. But I won't tell him that. His head's big enough already, <laughs> literally. He's turned into a strong leader. I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us, though not all the other clans see it that way. Blech. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I'm glad to see humans treat their women with respect. Your people have placed a lot of responsibility on you. No more than your people have put on you. <laughs> then maybe we can show the men how it's done. Yeah. Deal. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Ah. Oh. Let's first see how Dragon Age. Well God, I don't know. What's doing? And we can already see the fate of Mass Effect. And I don't have high hopes. I don't have high hopes for the next Mass Effect game. What the hell? Um that's where that thing I don't know I already wore it so often. Something not slutty. Yeah. Cool. Good. Sure. No, I really nix. I hit that already. I didn't wear that already. It kind of looks like Joker armor. Sure. Weapon upgrades. I didn't upgrade any weapon. I don't want you. Let's get rid of every sniper. Just to know. That thing's good. That thing is actually good. Damage. Yes. And a pistol, a scorpion. Um, I could put a scope on it actually. Since it's more of a long range weapon. Let's go with that. Damn, it's heavy. That's probably this thing who's heavy anyways. Madoc, yes. We don't know the Madoc. Madoc. Oh, this is a nightmare. But normally it's good too. Let's give it some numbers. Damn, man, I'm already more broke. I'm more boys. It's dying. Okay, we're done here. For this episode. Never thought I'd serve aboard a human vessel, but Normandy and its crew have my faith. We stand together. Anything else? Anything about the Krogan? No. No. We're done. Nine to uh, forty-nine minutes exactly. Plan.